guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on today's video and for a few people who have not been to the channel in a couple of weeks the channel is now known as the l word channel with ash silver so hopefully we can get a bigger community before season two and season two is exactly what we are here today to talk about and last week in my live i went over a lot of this but i know not everyone goes to the live and it is quite long to watch afterwards and also i jump around a lot and like because the people ask me questions in the chat then you know i could talk about the original show and then speak a little bit about season two and then there's another 20 minutes before i mention it again so i did one of these videos in my december advent calendar and it was pretty much everything we know about season two i've been doing them steadily along for the probably the past six or seven months and there really wasn't a lot to go over six or seven months ago but a few people in the comments have been asking me kind of the same questions that maybe were answered in the live. So I wanted to do a video so that anyone who wants to know what's going on with anything in season two that we do know that I can say, you know, this is the video to watch. And I will probably once a month as we're getting little bits of content here and there do like an update on season two. And also, as I've said before, as soon as anything comes out, like trailer-wise, teaser-wise, I will drop what I'm doing and go live, and then I'll do a video about it too for anyone who can't make the live and doesn't really like that format. As I know, it's, it's some people love it, especially the people that can come and chat. But it is, you know, like watching me read and things like that, and it's it's not super interesting, I'm sure. So let's get on to season two. Just make sure that so you don't miss any content whatsoever, you're subscribed to the channel. And if you are subscribed, like an hour video and comment on it, you'll be entered into a draw to win one of my pieces of merch, which are all L word shirts, hoodies, all these types of things. And that's how you can support the channel. The merch store will always be in the description box down below. So you can check it out there and also check me out on social media. I'll put all the tags up there and I put even more L word content up in between my videos on all of the social medias. So, so let's briefly talk about filming. This is not too much to talk about. They officially went back on set on the 30th of November. So we're about, you know, two weeks. They really didn't take a lot of time off on Christmas. They were back on set the 27th of December and they are working Saturdays at the moment. So there's been two months straight basically of filming and then the camera people prep crew everybody they went back at the beginning of november like a week into november to get you know all their equipment and everything sorted for the actors coming back and the way they're filming right now they're filming in three chunks so and the finale so they're filming episode one and three all together four five and six together seven eight and nine together and then the finale because the way normal episodic television is filmed you film an entire episode one goes to editing done and the thing about the l word the one of the reasons they can do this is because they're not like Grey's Anatomy which you know they're showing new episodes say episode one comes out they're only on filming episode seven so they're constantly filming while we're getting new episodes but with Showtime and HBO in general they do this with all their shows they film everything edit it it's done and then they start releasing the series so the way they're doing this with the three episodes it's say there's five scenes across episode one two and three and in, in bet's house and five scenes across the three episodes in alice's house as opposed to normally filming at bet the two scenes or whatever episode one at bet's house going to alice's house going doing all the other scenes for episode one they are going to the location for a day or two however long it takes and doing all the scenes at bet's house for one two and three so they have to do costume changes, makeup changes, hair changes, everything so that you're not looking at it and thinking, hey, no one's changed 
visitor hey no one's changed their clothes for three episodes <laughs> so that's the way they're doing things with filming there has also been discussion about the fact i mean they've majorly ramped up the crew and people working on the show in a big way this year you know every single week i'm seeing new people being added to the crew and production staff so i wonder if they'll continue that when things go to editing and they'll speed through the editing faster than usual but i think it will take longer because of the way they've done things but of course they're very organized they know what they're doing and i have every faith in them that they're gonna do brilliant and we're gonna get a great season two and they're also being completely safe and cautious about what they are doing i know a number of people who are basically you know as jennifer beale says she's in the showtime l word cave because a lot of them i know leo shang only posted about it yesterday on twitter he lives in a household with a multiple roommates and a lot of the cast and crew have said i'm going to quarantine through the production because i don't want to expose the people on set and i don't want to expose my family and you know it just squashes it down and leo shang is is quarantining by himself there's a, n a number of people who are doing that or quarantining with someone else on the show in the way that you know Aaron Daniels and Leisha Haley and Kay and Mia used to do when the original show was on not in quarantine of course but they were just like roommates and they do also get tested every single day I thought it was only going to be three times a day that's the pretty much the standard from everyone at ABC NBC but either you know the showtime is run by a lot of women too who are and pretty smart cookies so they're probably just thinking this is the best way we can afford to do it why not be as safe as we possibly can and they also have i can't imagine how many safety measures like i i know a lot of them but it's just they are doing the absolute right thing and i applaud them for that so that's pretty much where we are with filming although some of the new cast have been contracted for eight months for filming so that also raises the question are they really actually still on episodes one two and three after two months it could be i'll talk more in a minute about one of the guest stars but they were supposed to go and film the fourth their first day was really yesterday monday the 25th so it's just a question of were they behind or did they just film other stuff that they would be filming now and there's a lot of questions there but the eight months really does raise a flag to me because i'm like that just seems so long to shoot 10 episodes so it's either really impactful from the pandemic which we of course know it is impacting a lot of stuff and even you know it takes time for everyone to be tested every day and, and locations and everything like that so i did raise the question again this is my pure speculation that were they filming season two and three back to back but then that doesn't seem possible because we haven't heard any news about season three and my thought would be if that was the case they would do a teaser trailer and then say something in the teaser trailer that has been renewed but it's always always for the l word at least an episode has shown i believe season one they showed the two episode pilot and then it was renewed and season two three four that all of them they got to at least episode three or four and then they renewed it but with the way generation q was they didn't renew it until episode six the episode where laura Harmon comes back which i'll talk about in a sec too and it also makes me think did they save it because they knew it was going to be a big episode and everyone would be looking at it everybody would be watching it everybody would be talking about it which is the reason my channel exists so you know you can look at it both ways or was it because of the huge reaction that they were like just you know sign them off for another season we got laura holloman we're bringing her back again well miss g knew that i said laura holloman so she's like i gotta settle in for updates and let's talk about laura holloman because i think i get the most questions about 
Laura Holloman and Tina and what's going. I mean, hands down, most people talk about Bet and Tina on my channel, but just as to actors and what's what's happening, it, most questions are about Laura Holloman. And a lot of people have been asking me about how many episodes she's going to be in. Still no concrete number on that. I don't think that we will get a concrete number until something like IMDb or when the episodes start showing they'll tell us or something like that. I don't think it's going to be news we're going to stumble upon in the next few months, but you never know. And I'd be shocked if Laurel isn't in three episodes because Rosie O'Donnell's in that many. I'd be really surprised if she actually wasn't in more. And I don't think she's going to be in more than eight because uh, this has always been what I've said about the situation. If it was eight, nine, or she was in the whole season, they would have bumped Laurel up to a series regular and she would have got it with eight or nine episodes because she has the legacy of the original and being an original cast member and you know being laurel holloman so it's really up in the air i'm thinking it's probably around five or six episodes and we we will of course see but she is definitely on the show she is definitely filming this week today is tuesday the 26th and it's just also, it, it, it will be interesting how they, they bill Laura Holloman. In episode six and seven last year, she was billed as special guest star. And that is a big, like, get to get a special guest star. I know, you know, on, on shows like the CW shows with Flash and Arrow and Supergirl, they all, those, all those main actors play the heroes. They all get special guest star in their own shows. But CW, you know, they, they make episodes of of the flash and supergirl and stuff like that for really really you know small money compared to movies and compared to showtime and hbo shows like they're big time and you know sybil shepherd for her entire run of the l word even though she was pictured in the theme song and the, in the credits she never got her credit in the name but she was always special guest star Sybil Shepherd, and that is like a big contract negotiation it's the same thing when you you look at Buffy the Vampire Slayer where Amber Benson was guest starring and I mean spoiler alert for <laughs> Buffy but when Alison Hannigan was bumped to the and Alison Hannigan as Willow and obviously Sarah Michelle Gellar was the star she was always the first person in the credits those are the the two big like you get extra money, you have extra power, all that stuff. If you are the lead or the, they call them the anchor in the, in the credits. And if they did something like that, like feature, I know they don't really have a theme song and like credits like the original L Word did, but if anyone remembers season one of the original L Word, didn't it? It just had that and a lot of shows don't have credits in season one because they're like, we don't know whether we're gonna get any more seasons. So I actually do think that they may do some sort of theme song or credits. They do, a lot of shows do do away with it now and they don't actually cut to credits the way, you know, we used to, it's like binge watching and all that stuff. So it'll be interesting. They may feature Laurel in the pictures, but have her as a special guest star because moving from a credited person to a special guest star or guest star, it's a world of difference. Like you have way more obligations, way more connection to the show. You do most of the time make more money, but there's certain rules and things like whenever, you know, the show comes out, you have to spend a certain amount of time publicizing it and doing all these interviews and things. So Laurel may not want that entire strings that come with all those things, but with special guest star, she still gets kind of the good recognition and it doesn't prevent her from being pictured in the credits, but also she's getting what she deserves for the show because of course she does, like what a draw she is, like she deserves to get credited, she deserves to get, you know, whatever she's getting and you know, not have to spend all this time kind of, you know, I, I think they'll expand it a little bit this year. Last year it was really Jennifer, Kate and Leisha. I, you know, 
pretty much my entire life goal of this channel is to get an interview with them. <laughs> but I think it's going to be a long way away. I think I need, I don't know, at least 20,000 subs, but they might not even <laughs> know who I am then. And I think you will see some of the newer cast coming in because last year it was all about the L word is coming back. You know, you know these three people, don't you want to watch them again? And you know, now everyone knows, you know, Danny and Sophie and Finley and Tess and Micah and Gigi and that and stuff. So yeah, I think you'll we'll see a lot more of everyone whenever the show comes out. But again, it depends when. You know, September, if it comes out, would be great. Laurel's art shows moved to September in London, so there's a perfect example of why, you know, maybe she doesn't want that big series regular contract. Didn't really mean to talk about credits for so long, but I'll put some timestamps down in the description below so that if you just want to like skip through, you can. Speaking of credits and guest stars, our next segment will be about all of the guest stars that we know are happening in season two. And I've released before, I'll link them in the cards above and at the end of the video, I've an announced pretty much all of these guest stars before they went into magazines, before they went into publication. I don't even think I've really seen anything, but especially the, the last person, no one has mentioned it in a few of the groups I have, but I'm the only person who's talked about it. And all these magazines that go out and, you know, get the stuff after we've all talked about it, I wish that they would say how they stumbled across this information because it certainly didn't fall from the sky, but there you go. So, so two of our first guest stars announced were Donald Faison, who's going to play Tom, and Griffin Dunn, who's going to play Isaac. And Donald Faison is going to be dealing with Alice a lot. He's someone who works on her show. And then Griffin Dunn is going to be Isaac, who's someone in the art world who Bet is going to deal with and have some sort of business, maybe friendship, maybe rivalry, we don't know, with Isaac. And I, I've said this a few times, but whenever the, you know, magazines that released all this, they're not like us. They're not people who follow the show. They're not big fans. They just literally get the news from either us, my channel, whatever, Facebook groups, and they just do it. So they want clicks and views, clicks and views. And they will not, you know, really go into a lot of deep, like they just pick a little tagline basically to say. And the tagline they picked was this Isaac guy starts a relationship with Bet. Now, native English speakers know that we can say, relationship and mean I have a relationship with my cat I have a relationship with you know my cousins and my sisters and my friends and it's what you know adjective you use to describe you know is it a romantic relationship is it a friendship like all these business relationship and I think the problem was a lot of the articles maybe translated or put into google Tra or whatever way it was translated was not translated like any sort of friendship or relationship it was translated as like a romantic something and so then some people or i mean you can just read it that way too and just your brain just goes there and some people then thought this meant that is going to like have some sort of romantic relationship with isaac and i mean again i don't write the show i'm not on the set but i can tell you this is 100% not going to happen and if it ever did that's probably the only thing that could happen that would make me stop watching the L word and yeah it's just they're gonna have some business maybe personal but but we don't know but it is not in any way a romantic relationship and I'm really excited about Donald Faison coming I he's not an actor that I'm like ever name in my top actors but I normally what anything I see him in I I like like I thought he was funny and clueless and you know scrubs is again isn't a show that like i really you know watch the new episode every week but if it's on a channel sometimes like i'll leave it on and it's it's kind of funny the next guest star is one that i did drop exclusively on the channel was brooklyn sanders who's going to play kayla allenwood 
And as everyone knows, you know, in the original show, Marcus Allenwood was the sperm donor to Bettina for Angie. And it looks as though they're going to explore this storyline that I haven't really seen done a lot is about people who have biological siblings for sperm donation and, you know, how that relationship is if they if they find them or meet them. So I think that'll be really interesting. And also they do say in season one, Bet and Tina, that Marcus Allenwood does have a child already and, and that's how they know, like he's healthy and doesn't have any like sperm motility issues or something. And this I know it, I, I'm really bad at aging kids <laughs> because, you know, that's my child. And somebody else, I think it was Lisa, did point out that Brooklyn Sanders does look like that age where she could be 14, 15, or she could really be 17, 18, maybe. I mean, I don't think 19, but she could be another child that Marcus has had, or she could be that child that they mentioned in season one, and she's a little bit older than Angie. So either way, it'll be interesting stuff, I'm sure. So Benita Krista Nall, she's going to be playing a character called Chloe. This was also someone I dropped exclusively on the channel and that's pretty much it, all that we know. She is a middle-aged woman, she's been in tons of stuff like Minority Report, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Alias, Catch Me If You Can. So she's also a producer I believe. So. I wonder what she's going to be up to. Maybe, I don't know, an in romantic interest for someone. We'll have to wait and see. And the final guest star that we have for season two so far is, of course, the I, all year everyone was speculating over who would play the role of Carrie, Tina's fiance. And Rosie O'Freaking Donnell has been cast in that part. And I've spoken about this. I have a casting news video that I'll link in the cards above. But, I, you know, I, I always enjoyed Rosie's show. I enjoyed The View. I think that she being just out in public is something she's done great things for our community. She donates a lot of money. And she also has given us some good content. She is the one who gave us the Zoom table read and she actually gave us a second picture because everyone was complaining they couldn't see Laurel. So she was very nice and did that. She's also said she is going to try and do some TikToks on set. She's, I'll put her TikTok up in case anyone wants to follow her. And she is also following yours truly. Yes, thank you very much. And I also, along with Molly, who has been the real champ of getting Rosie to notice me, has asked her if she'd go on my channel and she did reply to my comment saying I would love to but I haven't been on the show yet and I was like I don't care come on anytime so when she finishes filming I'm gonna be like you said you would love to Rosie so come on and anybody who would like to comment and tell her they'd love to see her on the channel please do because maybe that will help and yeah, I think that Rosie, she, if she's allowed, she will give us L word content, but it just depends what the rules are on the set because she did a video last night that was like my first day on set and she had, you know, like the makeup on and stuff, but it could be just a first day thing because I, you know, I don't work on, on this TV show, but I've worked on a lot of movies throughout my whole childhood, adolescence, early 20s and it's it's a lot on the first day like you meet so many people and wardrobe and knowing where everything is and knowing your lines and all that stuff but also sh you know i'm talking about my tiny little experience and she is like an enormous star on an enormous show you know with an enormous storyline so yeah i'm sure it's pretty intense and hopefully we get some more content from her soon i also have spoken on the channel about Basically, the only two rules I have on the channel is one, don't talk about the cast or crew's private life because it's been made abundantly clear that they don't want that to be discussed. And, you know, they've given us this fantastic show. That's my showing thanks. I will only speculate, have, you know, gossip or something about the show, never about their private life. And the other rule is just be nice. I know that's really simple, but 
you know, especially I think Twitter is is probably the social media that I see this the most on that I now have said like if you know before if somebody wrote like a I don't know five line comment and four of the lines were just questions and being nice and then the other line said something mean about Rosie I would just concentrate on the other four things but now I'm like that immediately I, I'm not even going to respond if people are attacking actresses writers showrunners whomever it may be because they are making this great show for us in a very, very difficult situation. And I have all the respect in the world for them. It's a difficult job. And I just, you know, that's just my personal opinion. And that's just what I want on the channel. Privacy for the cast and crew and for everybody to just treat them the way that you would treat your own friends and think for a second before you hit send and think, wow if I was doing this job and somebody wrote this about me like how upset would I be or their mother saw it or their wife or their friends like most of the time they're not going to see what we're writing because they they're busy or they have things set up that they don't want to read things about the show until it comes out you know whatever their reason is but their friends their family they will see it so that's just my thought Rosie is in three episodes and as I said before she was supposed to go on the 4th of January so I don't know whether they're like behind schedule or they purposely changed it or however they did it you know this just could have changed and fit in another location in those two weeks but Rosie did she had a run through in person you know rehearsal on Saturday and they did you know all the read throughs on zoom for yeah. the showtime executives so you know they're they're start filming yesterday monday the 25th and she, you know she'll be three episodes we'll definitely know her in the back by the time rosie leaves and i just hope that we continue to get little bits of content from her two little pieces of information we know is alicia haley took a set picture of alice's show that says season two so we know alice's show didn't get cancelled it got renewed and then season two of the show and onward they are not portraying covid so it's going to be completely normal there's a link to the interview in the description box that there was an interview with marja ryan lewis who's the showrunner and i thought this quote was great that she said no one wants to see bet porter in a mask which true very true and when it comes to locations I talked a lot in my live about how the cast last week went to San Bernardino. This, it's kind of like one of those very like fancy place that you'd have a wedding. And there's one of the crew members posted a video and in the background, you can see Micah Standin, which is 100%, like I know that's Micah Standin. And then you can also see like a flower arch and they're definitely at a wedding. And as we know from the original word, you didn't really get a lot of, like it's a big deal if it's going to be a wedding. And I know some people were speculating that it was Tina and Carrie's. One, I don't think they'd show that to us. But two, Laura wasn't on set that day. Rosie wasn't on set that day. And they there was a second day at this location and they weren't on set either. So it just seems... Like, that is not the case to me. And I don't think they'd show us that anyway. Other people speculated that it might be Finley's sister. But then it was like, why would they show us such a... I don't even want to say tertiary character. Like, a character we've previously not even heard on the phone. We've only heard about. And also, why would Micah be... I mean, maybe Finley was like, oh, I need to have a male date. And this is, you know, my best male friend. But especially if it's kind of open about Finley and Sophie and like Micah seems more like Danny's friend, it just, it just didn't make sense to me either. So it could, it, honestly, it could be anyone's. It could be like Shane went to the wedding and did the hair and the wedding is just like someone that we don't even really know, like, or like have any sort of relationship or it, you know, it could be Danny and Sophie's wedding or what, there's a lot of people's wedding it could be where we left off last season but i'm pretty confident that it is not tina and carrie's 
Yesterday, they were also filming in Koreatown in a hotel. Um, I've blocked out the name of the hotel, but I mean, if you really want to figure out where it is, you know, use the picture. But I, and they're not, you know, right now, like they've, they've filmed there, they're done. And if, you know, you just want to know, these are some of the pictures and they were there pretty much all day. It's a, it's a really nice hotel and there's been like a lot of investment in there lately and to, to do it all up, but thought people might just be interested in another location we're probably going to see this season. And I guess the only thing left to say is that pretty much everyone from season one is, is coming back. You know, I mentioned about Laurel and... Bet, Shane, Alice, obviously, Micah, Finley, Danny, Sophie, all back, and also Tess, Nat, Gigi, Mary Bell, like they're all coming back, and they seem to have a bit more to, to do the season. It will be two more episodes, so there is a lot more time, and the characters are already established. We have a relationship with them. We know who they are, what they're about. They, they definitely, I would like to see more character development, and I'm pretty set on, on the cast now. Honestly, I, I, like I wouldn't be devastated if they dropped one or two people to focus more on the, the people that, that like I you know that I really like the best. But I definitely want to see Gigi, you know, is my fave, a lot more fleshed out and get to know her a bit better outside of just like her relationship with Nat. And then I do also like the road we're going down with Tess, like, and she is dealing with her addiction and stuff. And I, I definitely would like to see more of that. I don't think Mercedes, who played Tess's girlfriend, is coming back because I saw that she's pregnant, I think. So she probably won't be back. And Jordy, Angie's girlfriend, is also back as well. So I'm sure, you know, on top of the guest stars I mentioned, there'll be a few more getting towards the end of the season. I mean, since they're portraying it that there's no COVID and Al still has her show, we still should get, you know, some good guest stars through Alice's show. And I'd really like to see, you know, that. But I think it won't, maybe before they had five or six planned and because of the way things are and travel and stuff like that like you know we, we may not only get two or three or something and maybe there's a few people like Helena and stuff that are not traveling because of the pandemic that she could definitely get in to California with like a with a work visa or something but maybe they just want to get season two film sorted and then focus more on bringing some of the oldies back in season three but I could be completely wrong and we could get a flourish of people coming back in season two, which I would love that too. And that is pretty much it for everything we know so far about season two. I mean, if I'm sure there's something that I've forgotten to mention that I've mentioned before. And as always, I will have my live on Friday at 7 p.m. UK time, 2 p.m. Eastern and 11 a.m. Pacific. And next week I'll be starting a live later UK time that will be later for Eastern and Pacific time because I know it's hard for some people to make those on Friday especially when you know people are working and stuff so make sure to stay tuned to my channel and my social medias that's where I mostly talk about when I'll go live and all that and of course I, I don't foresee this but of course if something drops like a teaser or a trailer and this goes you know until season two comes out the second anything comes out I will immediately like make a live. So if something comes out at six o'clock at night, I'll maybe make a live and go live at eight or something because here it's gonna be mostly evening time because it'll come out California time. Definitely keep your eyes and ears peeled for anything like that. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I mean, you don't wanna miss out on any L word news and the algorithm sometimes is notoriously bad for LGBTQ plus people. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and comment down below with what you want to see most in season two. I have a feeling Bet and Tina is going to be the winner of that one. But if you do that, you'll be entered into a draw to win one of my pieces of merch, which are all L word themed. 
And if you want to support the channel, a fantastic way to do it is to purchase a piece of merch or super chat me in my lives on Friday. As always, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone last week who wished me well as I had a week-long migraine. It was awful. So I'm back better than ever. And I will be coming up with my season five, episode 11, retro review. And then we only have nine more episodes of The L Word, which means season two, you got to pick up the pace. <laughs> I'm joking. Thank you again, guys. Make sure to let me know in the comment section if there's anything else you want to see on the channel and make sure to stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.